Hi guys, welcome back to my Halloween tutorial for today, which is going to be Chucky. I have already applied my foundation and I'm now going to do my eyebrows and I need them to match my wig so I'm making them very warm and ginger because obviously Chucky has red hair. And I actually kind of love the colour of the brow even though it go doesn't go with my hair like whatsoever but I kind of dig it, it's cool. I'm going to fill them in and then I'm going to feather the edges with my finger as it's eyeshadow it's a lot easier than if it's a cream and then I'm going to go with my concealer and just sharpen up those edges like I would with my brows normally. I'm going to use my beauty blender or well, it's my Real Technique sponge just to blend that out and then I'm going to use my concealer and conceal under my eyes and basically I'm just trying to um, create the base for everything so I need to do the skin first ordinarily I do eyeshadow first but I'm just gonna do my skin and completely finish my skin before I add the stitches over the top so I'm setting my foundation and now I'm going to contour using a fan brush this one's from Morphe and it is literally amazing it makes contouring so quick and easy and I'm gonna slim down my nose quite a bit because I want a little doll nose so I'm creating an upside down triangle kind of the shape of if you were drawing on a, like a cartoon cat nose and then I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, concealer in the middle just to make it look really pinched and small. And now I'm going to blush and concentrate this mainly on the apples because obviously Chucky is a doll. And then I'm going to highlight with Sin from Urban Decay and take this on top of my cheekbones, the brow bone, on my nose and my cupid's bow. And it's going to make us look a little bit more plasticky as well. So this is my base and I love it, but we have to destroy this with some stitches and some gore. So I'm going to use a lip liner from MUA and I'm going to start to map out the shape. So you kind of want to create a um, 2006 uh, emo panda eye but with this colour and start to add some uh, scars. And if you get a picture of the actual Chucky doll up on Google Images you can really see exactly where these need to go. Obviously mine are not perfect but this is just my version of a Chucky doll. The Chucky doll. So very roughly, I want to keep the lines quite thin though and then I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner and completely outline all of these lines and I want to say with this look, it's going to look really bad for a long time until we really start to complete the look and bring it together because it's a lot of um, different shading and layers and whatnot. So this is going to be the highlight that's going to pop this area forward and I'm going to go around the edges of that white now, line it with some red and make sure this is nice and feathered and this is just going to be the colour of the irritation of the scars. This is what's going to make it look a bit inflamed and irritated. And I'm going to blend that out with a pencil brush just to make sure that's nice and soft and an even further way to blend it is to just use my brush that I set my face with, with my face powder on it. So now I'm going to take a dark colour in that centre and this is going to push this area in so it looks like it's kind of um, engraved. And then I'm going to take slightly darker colours around the edges of the white now and again this is going to make the white look even more popped out and you'll see that effect coming together as I go along with this. So now I'm going to darken the insides even more. And one thing I would say is don't darken everything, don't make it all one colour, you want to darken the areas that are going to be naturally darker, so the areas where a shadow would be much more likely to be cast, you kind of, kind of, yeah, you have to kind of eyeball it, and again around the edges, darkening the areas where the more, shadows will be more prominent, and again with the black, repeating this process just to add some depth to the entire thing and make it look more realistic, basically. So this is what I've got, obviously I'm not an artist, but... You know, I'm trying my best, okay? And this I'm just going to repeat for all of the scars, so for the one that goes on the chin. And then I'm going to use some black uh, face paint to add the staples or stitches, whatever you want to call them. I think they're staples, but we're going to add these um, in little groups all along this scar. They're not on all the scars completely, but this one they are along the whole way. And I'm just going to add some little highlights to the top of those stitches, just to make them look more 3D. So this is what this will look like, and now I'm going to repeat to the rest of the scars until I'm happy with the effect. And I think I get a lot better at doing these scars the more I go. So obviously practice makes perfect. 
So I'm going to add some more stitches and then highlight them. And here we go. So the whole face is done now. I'm going to do the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use a peachy colour because on some of the visuals of the actual doll he does have a peachy colour on the eyes and the lips. But obviously this is a more feminine version of Chucky because I just wanted to do it that way. So I'm going to add my mascara to my lashes. And then I've added my wig, which I'll link below. And I'm just going to add some gore. So I'm going to be using this Scab Blood from Ben Nye and adding this between all of those staples, like in all of the areas that are scarred. And I'm also going to pat it on my eyelid and make it look really gory and gross, but also pretty damn awesome at the same time. And then I'm going to add some areas just coming off, like transferred blood I guess and some freckles because of course you are going to be a little doll so you need to look quite cute and that is the final look so if you guys like this please don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video if you haven't already and comment and I will see you all in my next Halloween video bye guys Mwah. <laughs>